Right now we're sitting up on the rim of Kapolin Volcano, looking out onto the Rocky Mountains in the far distance, those snow-covered peaks there. These are the Southern Rockies, also known as the Sangre de Cristo Mountains. Now in the foreground, what we're seeing in this grazed area, as well as where you see the green, greener vegetation, is the Raton Clayton Volcanic Field, of which Kapolin Volcano is a part. Now I wanted to focus first a little bit on uh, some features of Kapolin specifically, and then we'll go talk about the field a little bit more. So down below us is what's called the boca, or the mouth of the volcano. Now, as I had mentioned at the previous stop, this volcano erupted only once, but it erupted in many pulses, possibly over several years or decades. Now, there were some periods when perhaps instead of this violent activity, the magma didn't have sufficient volatile content or sufficient gas to actually erupt violently. And instead, it just had lava oozing out. Um, however, where is that lava going to go if it doesn't have the power of the volatiles to allow it to explode out of the center of the volcano? Well, it gurgled up out of the vent, and then it would just try and flow out. Now, because Kapolin is made mostly of cinders, it's very porous. There's a lot of holes in um, the spaces between the cinders, kind of like in a sponge. And so this uh, lava was able to just seep out one of the sides of the volcano. And this is the boca, or the mouth of the volcano. And you can see those lava flows coming out of this area. I believe there were at least four flows that came out of the boca of Kapolin over time. Now, in addition to the flows that are due to Kapolin, we're seeing a lot of other volcanic features out there that are part of the Rayton Clayton volcanic field. It would be pretty rare in an area for only a single cinder cone to erupt. Usually, there are many cinder cones that erupt in a single area because there's a significant source of magma under the earth. And it finds numerous ways to get to the surface, one of which is Kapolin, which we're sitting on right now, but which also manifest in a variety of other ways that we see out in the field. You can see other cinder cones that are kind of like Kapolin off in the distance. There's one that doesn't have much vegetation right over there. But some of what we're seeing is actually lava flows, much like the ones that came out of the Boca of Kapolin. Now, these lava flows are primarily what you see covered in vegetation out there in the distance. And something interesting has happened with these lava flows and the local uh, landscape. These lava flows, <clears throat> like anything liquid, when they came out of their vents, would flow along the low areas in the topography, filling those areas with lava that slowly cooled um, along that, land, that former landscape. But lava is a very um, hard rock, unlike some of the sedimentary rocks that it flowed over. And so it is less likely to be eroded away over time than those softer sedimentary rocks. So these lava flows filled these stream valleys, and then the sedimentary rocks around them were eroded away, and pretty soon, instead of the lava being in the low part of the topography, the lava had become the higher part of the topography. So some of those little plateaus that you're seeing out there are actually uh, inverted topography features, or areas where lava once flowed in a low area, but has now become the high area because the basalt is much harder than the surrounding sedimentary rock. The Rayton Clayton volcanic field was active for a large portion of the last 9 million years. Now, Kapolin volcano itself erupted 60,000 years ago, and the youngest volcanoes in the field erupted 30,000 years ago. And that was long before man entered into this area. Um, but many of the volcanoes in the area erupted several millions of years ago. So this place has been volcanically active for a long time. Don't think that that means that this area was exploding constantly for the last nine million years. There were likely periods of thousands, uh, hundreds of thousands, or even millions of years when there was no volcanic uh, activity going on, and it would have looked pretty peaceful, just like you see it today. However, over that course of nine million years, many lava flows, cinder cones, and shield volcanoes, much like uh, Sierra Grande that we saw earlier, formed in this field based on the uh, magma that was coming up out of the ground with different levels of uh, volatiles um, and viscosity. <laughs>